Today we are going to go for a blood donation and it's pretty straightforward, just follow the signs. Ta-da! You are suddenly in seat and you take this form, fill it in with all your details and read up on it because there are a lot of information that you need to know. That's a blood test station. They need to prick you and get your iron levels and hemoglobin levels so that you are fit for donation. I sometimes don't get by but just make sure that you have a full meal beforehand and that increases your odds. Okay, so they give you a squishy boy. That's a squishy boy. You hold the squishy boy and you can you can squish him, I guess. And he's checking my blood pressure right now because that's also something that's crucial and they just want to make sure you're fit for donation. So don't faint. Oh, squeeze the squishy boy. Squeeze it. Squeeze him hard. Oh, he has glasses. Look at that little squishy boy. He has glasses. <laughs> okay, he just put something on my arm. And he's scanning labels they label everything so that there's accountability okay he's cleaning your elbows what's the name of that part of your elbow there's like a name for it i can't remember anyway they clean that part of your elbow because your elbows are dirty af okay this is where you start to freak out a little bit it's a little bit scary if you're afraid of needles but yep it is in and he has put it in he's pressing on the syringe a little bit uh, i don't know if this makes you a little bit woozy but okay he is squeezing out and he's done that's about it guys i think that pretty much wraps up our blood donation experience you can see there's a little pin yep he's covering up you're good to go oh just kidding <laughs> this is the real needle for the donation yes it is this big Yes, it is this long and the whole thing is gonna go into your your vein But no, it does not hurt because he basically put in local Anastasia right before this. Yeah, that didn't hurt at all No pain nothing Nothing at all. I know it looks scary because it's huge, but it's not painful So blood starts pouring out right after he inserts that needle Look, that bag's already filled up, but that bag isn't the donation bag. The donation bag's much bigger. I should have taken a picture of that. Okay, anyway, that little bag is for sampling because they want to take some blood samples and test it in the labs just to make sure that your blood is suitable for donation. And he is doing all of this while you just sit there and squeeze the squishy boy. It's kind of like a spa, but instead of you getting anything, you're giving blood. Does that make sense? Yeah, yours should be faster. You're done! The very kind nurse. All the staff are amazing. Please treat them nicely. So this very kind nurse is gonna help bandage my arm. And you should not take off this bandage. If not, your blood's gonna start spilling out. And it's gonna be nasty. Nasty. Don't take out the bandage. Until a couple of hours later. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. You can take it out, just not so fast because blood really does come out. And right away you get a lot of refreshments because they want to make sure that you are fit and healthy and feeling comfortable. They really care about you lah. They really want to make sure that you are feeling good. Have your refreshments. Get some Oreos. Oh, look at that steaming cup of coffee and this beautiful, beautiful view. This is at Jurong East. It's one of my favorite blood banks because it's so pretty. You can just sit there and hang out right after your donation. And we are about done. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you are now more well informed about what a blood donation is like. Go and read up about it. This entire video was edited using Filmora 9. It was very straightforward. Look, here I am munching on a biscuit. You go take some footage of you munching on a biscuit and go and try out Filmora 9. It's very easy, straightforward, lots of hacks, lots of effects, transitions. Alright, have fun guys.